This is one dollar. It's enough to buy a pack of tissues. Let's be honest. It's not a lot of money, but I will show you what VPS you can get for 12 dollars per year, so just one dollar per month. We will take a look at options from three different providers. Rocknet, Cloud Server, Dedipath. All of them have some pros and cons, and I could talk a lot about specification, but let's see how each of them perform. Right now we are looking at HTOP, because I want to show you one thing. Cloud Server and Rocknet are using KVM, while Dedipath uses OpenVZ. I installed Debian 11 on all of them, but we can see that Dedipath uses less RAM as it's using OpenVZ. In my personal opinion, OpenVZ is kinda obsolete. It was very nice when we had VPSs with like 64, 128 megabytes of RAM, because then these RAM savings were godsend, but now I think KVM is a way better solution. First we will take a look at yet another benchmark script. We can see that Rocknet has the best disk speeds, while Dedipath has worst. I need to say that even these worst results are surprisingly good, especially if you want to host a website. Majority of big shared hosting brands limit your sequential I.O. to 1, 2, maybe 5 megabytes per second, and Dedipath is a lot faster than that. In terms of network speed, Cloud Server is the best, followed by Rocknerd. Dedipath is slowest, but maybe it's the best, because Dedipath has unmetered traffic, where Rocknerd and Dedipath are limited to 1 terabyte per month. Now CPU benchmark. It failed on Dedipath, as it doesn't have enough RAM to pass Geekbench test. Normally you could fix that by making swap, but you cannot do it on OpenVZ, as you don't have access to kernel. Provider technically could set it up for you if you send them a support ticket, but this time I won't do it, because I already know performance of the CPU and it's right between Cloud Server and Rocknerd. So overall winner is Rocknerd. But what these CPU numbers really give you? Does it mean that you could install WordPress and serve 1 million visitors per month? Yes, let's do it. But instead of installing WordPress, PHP, MySQL and all of that manually, I will show you easier method. Word apps. You just type one command to install it and then you can create WordPress site with another command, which I will explain in more detail. WP means WordPress, WPFC means WordPress with fast CGI caching, but you can also do Redis caching if you prefer that. PHP 8.1 means it will use PHP 8.1 for the site, and LE means that it will automatically generate Let's Encrypt certificate. Couple of minutes later, it's done and you get auto-generated details for WordPress admin account. That's all. To make real world scenario for benchmarking, I also installed DV theme and made very basic custom homepage with two big images, some text and one table. So yeah, let's do this. First I will try 200 requests per second. As you can see, we are using roughly 30 to 40 percent of CPU and around 300 to 400 megabytes of RAM. Response speed is very, very fast. Now let's double that. 400 requests per second. Response speed got way worse, but still there is no timeouts, no errors. So maybe something in between. 300 requests per second. This gives us results very close to 200 requests per second benchmark. We can safely say that this VPS will handle 200-300 visitors per second. Even if we take more conservative value of 200, that means 12,000 visitors per minute, 720k per hour. Of course, it's not like 200 people are going to your website every second consistently, but we can be sure that this VPS will handle realistic scenario with 1 or 2 million visitors per month. But remember, 
this VPS has only one terabyte of traffic available per month. If you have heavier site, then probably this will be your limitation, not CPU or RAM. If we take a look at bigger providers like DigitalOcean, they also have these limits, and VPS with 1TB traffic limit from them costs $6 per month, not $1 like VPS from RackNet or CloudServer. In upcoming video, I will also benchmark $2 per month VPSs with 3 or 4 terabytes of limit. So if you are interested and want to get VPS with even better value, subscribe. Also, this is my first video on this channel and first video in English from me. So let me know if I'm good enough for the job and if you need any help, take a look at our very active forum, lowandtalk.com. And you can also ask me in comments. Have a great day.